Cat Billy Goat's Barnyard by Eleanor Louise Skinner, adapted from the book Story Our Readers Revised, Book Two, copyright 1914-1923 by the American Book Company. Ted Billy Goat lived in a little pen in one corner of the barn. When the gate of his pen was opened, he always ran out into the barnyard. Then he tossed his head and said, This is my barnyard! One day, when the gate was opened, he saw a small dog in the yard. Ted dashed out of his pen at once and tossed the dog over the fence. The other animals were frightened and ran as fast as they could go. Cluck! Ted Billy Goat is here, the hen called to her little chickens. No more scratching today. Come! Quack! Ted Billy Goat is here. We must go to the pond, said the duck. Gobble, gobble, called the turkey. Follow me to the woods, my children. Ted never lets anyone stay here. Last of all, even the little fat pig squeezed through a gate and ran away. Then Ted strutted up and down and said, This is my barnyard. At last he saw someone by the barn. Ted walked closer and looked at him. Yes, someone was in the barnyard. Who are you? cried Ted Billy Goat. Jimmy Scarecrow did not answer. Then Ted Billy Goat dashed forward and buried his horns into Jimmy's legs. Jimmy did not move or say anything, but Ted could not get away. Let me go or you will be very sorry. I will toss you over the fence, cried Ted Billy Goat. Still he could not get away. All day long Jimmy held him there. Ted was very tired and thirsty. If you please, sir, let me go, he said. Then Jimmy Scarecrow said slowly, Will you answer me two questions? I will try, sir, said Ted. To whom does this barnyard belong? To all who wish to come into it, said Ted. How can you remember that? asked Jimmy. I think I shall never forget it, sir, said Ted. You may go, said Jimmy Scarecrow. Ted went and all the animals say that he kept his promise. The End In this story, the animals talk and act like people. The scarecrow, which is made only of clothes, hay, and a stick, spoke. This is a way to tell a story that is called allegory. The animals and scarecrow act and talk like people, but they are not people. The story could be told with people as the characters instead of animals and a scarecrow. They live in a barnyard, and they have a problem. Ted Goat is not nice. He is acting mean. Maybe Ted is angry about something and is being mean to the other animals, though they did nothing wrong. Maybe Ted, because he's bigger, is using his power in a bad way, to show that he is more important. Do you see what one mean animal can do to a whole group of animals by being mean? He can get his way, but not in a good way. What does the Bible say about how to treat other people? In Matthew chapter 12, verse 31, Jesus says, Love your neighbors as yourself. What happened when Ted couldn't get his way when he was stuck? Was he happy about having his horns stuck in the scarecrow? What happened when Ted humbled himself and stopped being a bully? Do you think Ted now understands that he treated the animals in a way that he did not want to be treated? 
Let's think about what might have happened after the story ended. Now that Ted has stopped being a bully, and now that all of the animals live in the barnyard in peace, what happens next? Was Ted tempted to be mean again and not honor his promise? Did Ted learn that kindness is better than being mean? Were all of the animals now living in peace able to have better lives? Ted Billy Goat's Barnyard and Discussion Questions is available on the Roostersings.com in an Adobe PDF download format. It is laid out in a booklet or pamphlet form. Print it out. It will print back to back, side by side, to make a two-page uh, booklet or pamphlet.